Welcome to the Sun River Anglers Fly Tying Corner for this month. I'm going to tie a bound link calabatus. This is a Kelly Gallup pattern that I learned about here recently and if you followed my column you know that I like to fiddle around with calabatus patterns and I've been looking for one that's a nice high floater and one that works and I think I've come across it with Kelly's found link. Hopefully you've been up fishing East Lake in the past few weeks where the calabatus hatches have been epic. And I got up there one day recently and left my fly floating at home and spent the whole afternoon struggling to keep my flies afloat. And so that's when I went looking for and found Kelly's foundling calabatus. So I've tied up a few and I've gone back to East Lake and fished them and they work. I use them in tandem with um, this as the top fly and then a dropper fly of a cripple or a parachute or whatever else that I happen to be fishing on that given day. And I found that the uh, combination of the two is, is pretty deadly. I couple nice afternoons fishing East Lake, taking uh, rainbow after rainbow on dry flies. So give this pattern a try. I think you'll like it. So let's review the materials for this pattern. Let's review each of these materials individually. For the hook, I'm going to use a Firehole 419 size 14. This is a competition barbless hook designed for dry flies. It's got a light wire and it's also got a 2x gape which I like a lot for uh, hooking fish. For the thread, I'm using a Vivas 14 aught kind of a grayish brown thread that I like a lot for calabatus. For the tail, I'm using some fibers off a Whiting Coke de Leon. The color is light pardo, and I really like the variability of color in speckling in this Coke de Leon rooster neck. For the body, I'm going to use some white-tailed deer. I'm also going to use this deer for the wing. I like this because it's hollow and it floats very well. As well, it will um, flare just slightly in the wing. For the downwing, I'm going to use some medium done crinkled zelon that I get from Blue Ribbon Flies. And I think you'll like this. This pattern is an imitation for both a dun and a spinner all in one. And I think you'll see why as I tie this pattern and how it fits together. For the thorax, I'm going to use a blend of superfine calabatus dubbing. Uh, I'll use about 80% of that with some ice dub in UV calabatus. I'll use about 20% of the ice dub. So let's get started on this pattern. I'm going to tie my thread on at the two-thirds point of the hook, which is where I want my wing to set, and that's what's going to set proportions for the remainder of the fly. So I've taken some barbs of my light pardo, Coke de Leon, and I'm going to measure those out and tie them on, starting right at the wing set and tie it all the way back to the tail and leave those about two times the gape of the hook, maybe two and a half times the gape of the hook for my tail on this fly. From there, I'll take a small grouping of my white-tailed deer to form the abdomen of this fly. And I don't want to overdo it. This is a fairly delicate mayfly, and so I want just enough material to cover and surround the hook. I'm going to stack it and then I'm going to clip off the butts 
in proportion to where I want it to set. Those tips should be just beyond the end of the hook. And I'll tie that in with a couple of tight wraps and then I'm going to lightly wrap all the way back to the tail set, give it a nice snug wrap, and then lightly wrap all the way back to the wing set. I don't want to compress this material because this is what's going to help the fly float. The next step is I'm going to tie on the underwing. And this is going to act as a spinner wing on this pattern. I'm going to take my medium done Zelon and I'm going to figure eight it right in front of the abdomen bump and tie that right in against the abdomen. Let me rotate my vise so you can see how these wings lay on the hook. So now I've taken my dubbing blend and I've captured just a few fibers, enough to make a very sparse thorax on this fly. And I'm going to follow up the uh, figure eights on the wing by figure eighting the dubbing in and around this underwing. And I'll leave with a um, the thorax completed in front of the underwing. From this point, I'm going to clip each wing to form a profile much more like a mayfly wing. I'm going to clip the trailing edge of each wing kind of back and toward the abdomen to give that nice mayfly wing profile. The final step to this pattern is to measure out um, some deer hair for the wing and then I'm going to tie it on right on top of the thorax with a couple of uh, compression wraps to flare this wing and get it to set upright. Calibatus duns and spinners will often be on the water at the same time and this pattern does um, both things well. It imitates a spinner and it imitates a dun. Uh, either version may have an upright wing or a down wing and so that's why this uh, pattern is so effective. To finish up I'm going to whip finish, clip off my thread and then just do a little bit of cleanup. So let me rotate this fly around in my vise so you can get a full profile and see the down wings of the spinner and the up wings of the dun. This is a multi-purpose fly to imitate both the dun and the spinner. So that has been your Sun River Anglers fly tying corner for this month. I'm Phil Fisher and I hope you've enjoyed our tutorial on tying Kelly Gallup's found link. If you like what you see, please subscribe to our Facebook page, Sun River Anglers, and this YouTube page. Thanks for watching.